What's going on you guys, it's your boy Lloyd here. So I have a question that might be relevant for a lot of you guys. Uh, and this guy writes to me and he basically says, hey bro, I watch and like your channel for a very long time and I have a really, and I really have a hard question. I am talking with a girl that I saw in university uh, and after quarantine I wrote to her and we are really good with each other but she is three years older than me uh, and she haven't, hasn't seen me in real life and as far as you know the university won't be opening until August. Uh, but I don't think she would continue talking flirty with me until August without seeing me and I fear that she will friend zone me. Uh, should I open up to her through a call or should I just talk normal until August? Uh, best regards. Okay, so um, <clears throat> the answer for this guy is actually pretty clear, but let's talk about a bigger subject that has come up a lot. So basically this guy had a connection with a girl before the quarantine started, uh, and then once the shelter in place orders were happening, he couldn't see her anymore. Uh, and so he's wondering kind of how to keep that fire going and, and how to pick it back up when school resumes or when things start opening back up. So I get this question probably at least once a week. You know, a guy who um, met somebody wants to know how to keep that fire going and you know pick things back up where they left off when things start to reopen again okay uh, this is something that I deal with actually quite a bit in my own life it's something that I deal with a lot with my students um, but you don't really have to do that much okay um, typically the guys they fall into two camps um, guys that are doing it wrong number one they feel like they have to do something special, so then they'll reach out to the girl um, a lot, you know, and just kind of act very needy, and they'll, they'll push her away by doing that sort of stuff. So they'll be texting her just, just too much, or calling her too much, or, or whatever it is. And the girl will be, you know, she'll feel kind of suffocated, or, you know, she's like, why is this guy so, so into me, you know? And then that doesn't work. Okay, and the other way is that they completely ignore her uh, and then she forgets about them, starts talking with another dude or, or doesn't think that she, uh, the guy's really that into her. Okay, so they lose it that way. Now, obviously there's a bunch of things that can happen in between. So even if you do everything right, there's a chance it still might not work out. But the best thing to do is find somewhere in the middle. Um, and like I said, dude, you really don't have to do that much. If the girl liked you before the quarantine happened, or before the shelter in place order started, you really don't have to break your back to make, keep making them like you. And, and doing that is permission seeking, it's needy, it's, it's very typical nice guy behavior. Um, uh, but what you should do is you should show interest. Ask her how she's doing. Check in on her. Keep letting her know that you're interested in her. And you don't have to let her know every single day. I mean, she's got her own things going on. I don't know what kind of relationship you guys have. Uh, but if that's what's going on, you probably want to tone things back a little bit. Uh, me personally, yeah, you wrote, should I call her? I, I love doing a phone call, man. Um, phone calls are great. You can it accomplish a lot um, over a phone call, seeing their face, if, especially if you have FaceTime, uh, hearing their voice. A lot of times with long distance things, like it, things get lost in translation you maybe you think the girls you know doesn't want to talk to you anymore when it's she was just busy um, maybe she doesn't respond because there's a time difference or something like that or you just have different schedules you know you don't know and especially when you don't know when you're gonna be meeting up again which for a long time with the shelter in place orders we didn't know uh, it can make it a lot more uncertain it, it breathes breathes into all of these fears so I like to have uh, a more personable connection and actually get on a FaceTime call with them and you don't have to like make it all formal and schedule it. Like just if you're going back and forth, I would just call her right then and there or FaceTime her right then and there. Okay, now uh, for this particular guy, um, with the way you're describing it, I would say 90% chance it's probably not gonna happen with this girl. Okay, like you haven't even met her up in person. She's older than you. Um, you're at university. Like this is not this is not a good position to be in. I mean, she can literally just log on her phone and meet and be in the same position as you are with her with like 10 other guys. Okay, so your issue is that you really don't have a whole lot of options and you're clinging on to this woman who you've never even met to try and make things work. Okay, my advice for you dude personally is you gotta like take advantage of the offer that I have going on right now which is I'm, I'm, I'm helping guys out meet three quality women in three days for just $33. Like this is literally the cheapest program that I've ever come out with ever. Uh, it's going it's to be three days starting June 19th next week. Um, so if you're interested in that, dude, fill out the form down. Oh, by the way, anybody else who's interested in that, fill out the form. It's in the description box below. There's a survey um, and then I'll send you a link uh, where you can get added to the list. Yeah, I, I mean, in things like this, like you have to be uh, kind of doing your own thing as well too um, and having your options open. Like waiting around for a girl to come around or 
you know, that that's kind of a little bit old school and it does work if there's a super strong connection and you guys have like made a commitment for that. But if you haven't, if you haven't talked about that sort of stuff, um, assume that she's probably going to be dating other people too. Um, and so, you know, you should still show interest and when things pick back up, yeah, sure, reach out to her. But I'd say 90% chance because you haven't met this person, you haven't really established a strong uh, connection beforehand. It's probably not going to happen, man. If you had established a strong connection, I'd say, yeah, there's a really good chance that uh, you guys will be able to meet back up unless you meet somebody different. Um, but that's just not the case. So my goal for you is when things are starting to open back up is, you know, you have some options. You're not counting on this one person staring at your phone, hoping that this girl that you haven't even met is texting you back. And if you feel like that's you or anybody watching this video, I highly recommend uh, that you attend those sessions and fill out the survey in the description box below. Uh, so that's my answer for you guys. Again, you don't have to do that much if you want to keep things going for somebody uh, over a long period of time. I think calls work very, very well. Um, I think, you know, just getting a text just so you get a response from her, those kinds of behaviors are gonna drive her away. So cool. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, good luck out there, you guys.